It's a problem one woman says is taking a toll on her sleep and her overall well-being. Now she's trying to address the noise that's coming from her next door neighbor, who she says transformed his home into a church. Our Jonathan Cotto spoke with the Northwest Side residents who says she's had it with the noise. My stomach hurts. It makes me angry that I have to live here. This is my sanctuary and that is just, it's unacceptable. I really wish something would be done. Patricia Verduzco says she's lived peacefully in her home for the last 30 years, but she says the last two months have been a nightmare. The culprit, the sound of church bells coming from this speaker system, she says was installed in February. So that's what I've been going through is like him playing the speaker Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three times a day, Monday through Friday, five times a day, Saturday and Sunday. The problem I have with him is that this sound is coming directly into my home and you know, it's waking me up every single day. It started off as a home has slowly transformed over the years into what appears to be a Catholic church. We reached out to the Archdiocese of San Antonio who says the church is not recognized by the Archdiocese of San Antonio. We spoke to the church owner who did not want to go on camera but was aware we were recording. He says they are affiliated with a church from Brazil. And we, Pope John Paul II, sanctioned churches to be built within the United States from Brazil. According to the city of San Antonio, a church is allowed in residential areas and are subject to each district's development standards. They cannot control what we do. No one can. The government can't. The city can't. No one can. We are a valid church. But for Patricia, the problem isn't religion. And you see it and it's a church and you respect that, you know, so you don't do anything about it. But with this speaker, it's just a little, a little too much for me. We asked the church leader if he was willing to meet his neighbors halfway in addressing the matter. He says they have two options. Don't like the noise, buy us out. Otherwise, they shut the hell up. We've reached out to SAPD to learn what effort has been made to identify the church bells as a possible noise nuisance. We did see officers outside of the church performing measurements of sound pressure levels. We have yet to receive a reply. Reporting Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. We have an update, though. SAPD just got back to us and says they did two separate decibel readings today and no violations were found. None. The church was notified that decibel readings will be done in the future to assure the church stays in compliance with noise ordinances.